Good evening, my fellow outdoor enthusiasts. It's Outdoorsman 1996 coming at you. It is March 18th, 2024. Uh, currently in the Jack's Landing. Been in here now for about maybe an hour, hour and a half. Uh, fire's going. Nice and toasty. There's probably 150 in the oven. Kettle was just boiled and refilled. Nice fire going in the firebox. Cup of coffee going. Nice day in on the pond. Uh, even despite all the mild temperatures we've had, we is the pond is actually not very, not really slushy at all. Like I was told that it was. Um, not even the crit. Yeah, I know. Uh, not even the critter track in here, which is very very surprising uh, myself and Chris are in trying for a trout I had to wet the old trout uh, well he's trying for a trout I came over here with a, with a, or a opportunity to light the fire and saw us up the spot Aaron and Cody were in uh, last Saturday for the night I wanted to see uh, how the boys done with cleaned her up they done a good job done a good job even filled up my wood box Good on you, boys. Proud uh, you. You done done a good job. Keep up the good work. Uh, I put away your clean dishes, by the way. I'm I'm glad to see that you did wash them up. Even bonus points again for you. Um, yes. If if the if the temperatures don't drop drastically, this will probably be the last trip for uh, for this year. Boys could do anyway. Uh, Chris just left. He's gone, gone over now to check his lines. So far, he had uh, a couple of bites, but uh, nothing came up to the top of the hole. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna mosey out now. At once, I'd like to stay for another little bit longer, but uh, unfortunately, when the time comes to go out, you gotta go out whether he wants to or not. Anyways, boys, take care. Keep a stick on the ice. I got a few videos uh, from the previous trip to upload, so hopefully I'll get them done now this evening. Uh, like I said before, uh, get out and enjoy the greatness of Newfoundland and Labrador and what it has to offer you. And if you're going on the ponds, especially ones at lower elevations, uh, make sure uh, before you venture out on the ice, uh, make sure you have an axe with you so you can chop a hole and chop chop your way out so far see what kind of ice you got um in here we got uh, uh a layer of ice layer of slush and then another layer of ice um so like i said if you're going to venture out on a pond take your take an axe with you chop 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 it probably probably 10 15 feet see what you got and don't do it yourself. Make sure you got some with you, cause um, is uh, to my knowledge, there's only been one fatality this year. Someone going through the ice. Let's keep it that way. Um, sorry uh, that it had to happen, but um, you you just can't you just can't be carefree when you're crossing ice, especially coming up on the end of the winter. Take care, boys. Keep your stick on the ice.